shall the virgin rejoice in the dance, the young men and old men together. Nicodemus was a Pharisee, a ruler of the Jews, and a member of the great Sanhedrin, the highest authority in Judaism. Like all Pharisees, he was moral, zealous, self-denying, and self-righteous. He was destitute of any sense of sin and need. We begin our story in the home of Nicodemus and his wife Anna. Nicodemus has been away trading in Asia Minor and has just returned. It is early in the ministry of Jesus and the carpenter's son has been causing quite a stir in the region. But it isn't long before word of his teaching and miracles reached the ears of one irate Pharisee. Nazarene. 
I will. Great one. Can you believe such foolishness? Shall any good thing come out of Nazareth? Actually, my husband, he was born in Bethlehem. And just what do you know about such things, my dear wife? Not as much as you do. But, you know, I met his mother at the market and she told me that he was born in Bethlehem just around the time of the census. In fact, Mary and Joseph are of the house of David, so they went there to register. Bethlehem? House of David? Still, he's a nobody. But John the Baptist said that he's the Messiah. What? That's nonsense. My camel will be Messiah before this, this fellow Jesus. <laughs> Who is it now? Don't let grandpa 
Ah, uh, here you say that. I won't. You know what, Sarah? I have to go to the market. When I get back, we can bake some cakes for tomorrow. All right? That sounds great, Grandmother. So you stay until I get back and help yourself. All right? Yes. Okay. In the days following, Nicodemus would hear much about this Jesus. Indeed, more than he wanted to. The Sanhedrin wanted him dead. But Nicodemus did not think their hatred of him was justified. He had heard of his miracles and even the council thought he was from God, although they would not admit it publicly. He was a threat to their authority over the people. Nicodemus thought that Joseph of Arimathea was of like mind, so he confided in him, and they agreed to search the scriptures together. Nicodemus, are you there, Nicodemus? Yes, come in. We'll make sure you're not followed. Don't worry. I was not forgetting. I can't have the council um, risk them finding out that we are searching the scriptures about Jesus. Indeed, I believe they've already determined to have him killed. Yes, I believe it. I could feel the daggers at myself. <sighs> what have you found, Nicodemus? What is in line with the scripture about this Jesus? Uh, look here in the scroll of Micah. Out of thou Bethlehem and Bethlehem, though thou be little among the thousands of Judah, yet out of thee shall come forth unto me that is to be ruler in Israel, whose going forth had been from old, from everlasting. Who is from everlasting but God? And look here, look here, Nicodemus, in the scroll of Isaiah. For unto you a child is born, and a son is given, and his name, and he shall be called Wonderful Counselor. Almighty God, Almighty God, Nicodemus, none but God could open the eyes of one born blind. And the lame, have you seen the big at the gate? I have seen that man at the gate for years. Yes. He could not take a single step, and now he dances around the city like a child at play. I don't know about you, Nicodemus, but I've already made up my mind. This Jesus is of God. He is. I'm sure. But is he the promised Messiah? I'm going to see him for myself. Be careful, my friend. It could cost you your life. Yes. But I can't live with myself if I don't find out for sure. Nicodemus needed answers, so he was determined to meet with Jesus face to face. 
She may have told him that Jesus could be found in the garden behind the house of Levi near the sea. As soon as darkness fell, he went to him. Rabbi, we know that you are a teacher come from God. For no man can do the things that you do except God be with you. This is the truth that I say to you. Except a man be born again, he cannot enter the kingdom of God. How can a man be born again? Shall he enter into his mother's womb for the second time? Again, this is the truth that I say to you. Unless a man be born of water and of the Spirit, he cannot enter the kingdom of God. That which is born of flesh is flesh and that which is born of spirit is spirit but marvel not that I have said you must be born again the wind blows where it wills and you hear its sound but do not see where it goes or where it comes so are those who have been born of the Spirit. How can these things be? Nicodemus, are you a teacher of Israel and do not know these things? As Moses lifted up the serpent in the wilderness, so must the Son of Man be lifted up so that whosoever believes in him will not perish but have eternal life these thoughts were new to the demons. he had spent his life entrenched in religion the law good deeds and piety all the while resting firmly on the fatherhood of abraham and here was this man, 20 years his junior, teaching him about faith, love, and believing. Such teaching was foreign to him, but something was gnawing at his insights. Something he had never experienced before was drawing him to this Jesus. One you have drawn me to. I am but a child in the presence of such wisdom. I know you sent him, but Messiah, I don't know about all that. And if I, if I am to, to rule all the people, I must know. The council will have him dead. And I, Nicodemus, am part of that council. I must know. Talk to me, Adonai. Talk to me. And the Spirit of the Lord shall rest upon him, the Spirit of wisdom and understanding. Out of thou, Bethlehem, Ephetra, though thou be hid amongst the thousands of Judah, Yet out of thee shall come forth unto me, that is to be ruler in Israel. Actually, my husband, he was born in Bethlehem. Both Mary and Joseph are of the house of David. One side sworn by my enemies. But I shall not lie unto David. 
which is called Calvary, there they crucified him and the male factors, one on the right hand and the other on the left. Nicodemus, Hannah, and all those who loved Jesus were heartbroken. Bye. 
now in the hands of Jesus in the garden where he prayed they led him through the streets in shame they spat upon the Savior so pure and free from sin they said crucify him he's to blame he could have called ten thousand angels to destroy the world and set him free he could have called precious head they placed the crown of thorns they laughed and said behold the king they struck him and they cursed him and mocked his holy name all alone he suffered everything destroy the world and set him free he could have called ten thousand angels but he died alone for you and me he could have called
the discovery of the empty tomb was only the beginning. The angel commanded that the news be taken to the disciples and all of Jerusalem, to Judea and all the world, to every nation and to all people. Today and for all time, Jesus is alive. Jesus is alive. He told us, I am the resurrection and the life. He who believes in me will never die. Now we claim Christ's resurrection knowing we will rise with him and boldly stand before the throne of grace. Give him your thanks. Give him your praise. Let us worship our risen Savior together. He lives! Shall the virgin rejoice in the dance, the young men and old men together? Shall the virgin rejoice in the dance, the young men and old men together? Lie, 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 I will turn the morning into joy, and I will comfort them and make them rejoice, rejoice, rejoice in their sorrow. 